Africa. Well, on Syria, I'm sure you have seen the uh, rather um, I don't know, uh, surprising assertion by the Russians that this uh, uh, suspected, pre presumed, apparent chemical weapons attacking uh, in Duma was um, facilitated by the British. What? I saw that. Um, I think this is one that? of a long list of instances in which Russia takes information and they try to turn it upside down. We've seen a long history of the Russian government so discord, whether it's in our own election process, other countries. We see it through uh, state-sponsored disinformation campaigns. We see what happened today at the UN Security Council, where they uh, try to completely change the story when the facts become just a little too inconvenient for them. Uh, they, uh, they try to change the story, but the facts are exactly what they are. Uh, Russia has changed its story once again because it's simply become, the facts have become too inconvenient for them. But <laughs> can you say, can you just come and flat out say that that you know you have evidence that it was the Syrian government that was behind this and that Britain had nothing to do with it? Is that something that you The UK, I'm confident in saying, had absolutely nothing to do with it. It is the assessment of the U.S. government, the British government, the French government. I cannot speak on their behalf, but we've all been having conversations and sharing information, intelligence included, and we can say that the Syrian government was behind this attack. We talked about this the other day. Uh, the White House has addressed this as well. What is this? Hi, Michelle. Yeah. Um, so I think it was on Tuesday when we last had a briefing, right? Yes. Okay, so it was on Tuesday when you said, when you were asked about the OPCW mm -hmm. and sh is the administration or should the administration wait to get those findings? And you emphasized the fact that there's already intel um, that chemical weapons were used. Mm -hmm. So what can you say on the state of that? Has has the, the State Department's knowledge of what this was or that it was chemical weapons increased since two days ago? Um, how has it, how would you say the level of proof has changed? Well, and let, let me start by addressing the OPCW. My understanding is that the OPCW arrived, it was either yesterday or today, to, oh, tomorrow, pardon me, uh, tomorrow in Syria to uh, try to collect some information. So are, they are, are we, they are simply the body, the OPCW, the one that uh, collects some of the information and determines the exact substance that was used. On Tuesday when we last met, I talked about how uh, we know that this was a chemical weapon that was used uh, in Syria. The exact kind or the mix uh, that we are still looking into. Uh, there are some television shows out there in the United States that have started to ask, well, why aren't we releasing all of this intelligence information right now? A lot of this stuff is classified at this point. So those things we're going to hold uh, pretty close to the vest. Well, would you, w based on the, the words that you said on Tuesday, would you say that that's when the U.S. knew that this was Syria. I mean, would you would you say that there was proof on Tuesday? Uh, I'm not going to deter. I'm not going to say which day we absolutely knew that there was proof. The attack took place on Saturday. We know for a fact that it was a chemical weapon. We know that there are only uh, certain countries like Syria that have delivery mechanisms and have those types of weapons. Well, okay. Well, would you say today though that that the U.S. has proof mm. that this was the Syrian regime? Yes. Okay. And we continue to look at the information, we continue to gather information and uh, further assess it. We don't have the information to be able to provide. We don't, we aren't able to provide all of this publicly at this point because it's sensitive. So we're, 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 are, we waiting okay, for, are we waiting for the OPCW then to... I had, we had said before, and this has been the position of the U.S. government, Sarah Sanders has said this as well, as has the president and others, um, that we believe we know who is responsible for this. We believe, uh, we know that chemical weapon was used. Uh, we will still wait for the OPCW, not wait, the OPCW will still formulate its facts and its findings, but that still does not determine, the OPCW does still not determine the, the responsibility. They just determine the substance. But there won't be any action taken. I, I'm not, I, we covered this on Friday, on Tuesday, well, uh, extensively. No, we, we, we did. We can go back yeah, to the, a, uh, a the thing. Follow okay, go ahead. Follow. Even the Secretary of Defense was not conclusive in pointing the finger at the same time. I can tell you this. Syria is responsible. We are all in agreement. I have also seen the Secretary of Defense's uh, remarks as well. We are assessing various sources, different government agencies and departments have different types of sources by which we gather information. 
So DOD has certain kinds of sources, State Department has different kinds of sources, and other agencies and departments have various sources. We will take a look at all of this um, information as it comes in, and we have to remind you that this is a dynamic situation and it's ongoing, but we're continuing to look into everything. Okay, uh, Elise, go ahead. Sorry. At, at, at what level, but at <clears throat> what level of confidence are you that um, that Syria was responsible. I mean, there's having proof and believing that they did it, and then there's incontrovertible proof mm -hmm. and a high level of confidence and assurance. A very high it. level of confidence. Okay. Hi, Barbara. We verify the intelligence coming. I'm, in? I'm not. I'm not going to be able to give you information about the intelligence that we're gathering on that. But you've got your own, you've, you've independently verified that there is The United a States government has its own uh, sources of information. We have been assessing this uh, thoroughly since this took place on Saturday. Could, Heather, okay. can you say